part two on the nitrogen cycle video trying to think of the best filtration I can think of to really house anaerobic bacteria to really work for you really well so as we discussed anaerobic bacteria needs a very little flow rate and very like no oxygen in the water at all so basically it eats nitrates and turns it into nitrogen gas and this is how this anaerobic bacteria lives and thrives and does well and does its job and works really well so if we can actually house this correctly it can do wonders for us so a lot of people say big sand beds is dangerous because we get nitrogen gas stuck in there these pockets of gas stuck in there and when disturbed by a fish or whatever it can explode and get into the water and try to escape and anything in its past will kill right so in a main aquarium we wouldn't really want this we would want it somewhere else but then again we also need it to work for us so we would have to think of a way for it to work so I was thinking maybe trumpet snails because trumpet snails actually get in there and dig around a little bit so that could disturb the sand a little bit um, there's even these worms that maybe sometimes come with a plant and they're like little tiny microscopic worms that sometimes if you just um, deprive the aquarium of oxygen you can sometimes see the worms come out the li little tiny worms but they're not actually bad for the fish they can help you know break up the substrate a little bit and whatnot All right so let's say something about substrate real quick and why people are afraid of having deep substrates because of these nitrogen gas pockets it can create and potentially kill everything in the aquarium right but if we can actually house anaerobic bacteria correctly and give it a correct housing then it can actually be very beneficial for us and actually eat nitrates for us and do what it does in the wild right so let's talk about the filters so we're going to talk about a swamp filter and a canister filter. I think this is going to be a great example because it's kind of like a canister filter because we got our baffle here, you know, so let's just imagine all this right here does not exist and we just got this right here. So this swamp filter going from the main display tank will fall in here and go into here just like a canister filter would and it would have one pumping right back out so right from the get-go from falling into the overhang or even from a drain going into the pipe right from the get-go this water falling down is going to be super duper oxygenated right so we definitely want like something that um, will hold a lot of beneficial bacteria we want something that really holds a lot of aerobic bacteria because aerobic bacteria will do really well right here it's going to eat all the ammonia all the nitrite with the eyes turning into nitrate with the A right because it's so oxygenated right here and because it is so oxygenated and aerobic bacteria needs oxygen it's going to start using that oxygen because it's going to use because it's going to be very heavily oxygenated right here going in so it's going to be very heavily oxygenated correct correct all right so this is going to house aerobic bacteria a lot of it and this is going to still be aerobic bacteria in here this is um, lava rock which on the outside um, there's debate because it's so porous the inside might house anaerobic bacteria and the outside might be aerobic bacteria but anyways this is a good starting point so this house is you know it's still going to house aerobic bacteria because it's still so close to the surface now it's a 30 gallon tank uh, 29 to be precise so it's 18 inches deep 30 inches long and 12 inches wide but we're just talking about the first little section of it like a canister filter All right so it's 18 inches deep so all this aerobic bacteria from here is eating all the oxygen and ammonia and using all the oxygen in contact right eventually the oxygen in contact will be somewhat depleted and depending on your swamp or your canister filter and how stuffed it is water will always find the easiest flow which in my case will be the front because if you look at this sponge here and look how this is set up there's actually an inch back which will allow water to pass through the buffalo this front baffle easier because the sponges are one inch back as you can tell 
so basically the water will fall in and kind of work make its way through that front here and kind of work its way like this so this back motion shouldn't have that much flow so really high oxygen and water falls in from the main display tank into your canister or swamp aerobic bacteria starts to eat away at all the waste of your fish and everything doing its job also using oxygen contact within the water right you still want it to have be really fully packed with as much media as possible so this aerobic bacteria can eat away at the oxygen which will eventually deplete it right and then anaerobic bacteria can grow in this area because it does not like oxygen it does not like it whatsoever it does not like high flow rate so back here in this depth 18 inches down through 900 bio balls through I want to say six pounds of lava rock through 44 sponges through three pounds of dynamic rings it's going to be pretty slow getting back here so eventually all these aerobic bacteria turning everything the wish the fish produce into nitrates and then the anaerobic bacteria down here will eat all of the nitrates and turning it into nitrogen gas which hopefully if everything works properly it will release the gases which should catch within the stream which should release out to surface Boom. so this is why I think a swamp or canister filter will be the best best method so a swamp is pretty cool because you can uh, make your own idea you could make a baffle here which is 10 inches high which is completely full of sand and maybe putting a very small air stone in the middle of it to allowing it to break up a little bit or get some trumpet snails or something but you know you can have a really deep sand bed swamps are pretty cool because you can customize them both. canister filter in my opinion will work also because they come pretty tall and you're going to have the water coming in you're going to have a lot of media in there and then eventually you know the water has to I know the water has to go down these trays and then eventually you have to go back up trays and then to a return pump because it has to pump it back in so I know it has a motion like that too in some way or another it you know has that idea too so in the very very bottom part of it the flow should be minimal you know because I think the return pump is up here somewhere because you always got that really big heavy lid and you got the pump up here you got the two inlet outlet you know what I'm saying so the water has to you know water's falling into it eventually you know fills it up and then the return pump is just push pulling it back out so down here should be very minimum flow so on the canister pump if you take your you know sponge filter or however your media is set up I would recommend using a sponge filter and putting it all the way on your canister filter, all the way on the bottom of your canister filter and never ever cleaning it, never ever rinsing it, cleaning it, nothing because the idea is to let it get so clogged that water has a hard time flowing through it, you know what I mean, that in the center of it will allow for anaerobic bacteria to grow. So basically, you know, water will fall in you know it has like a really big fat sponge on the bottom of the canister filter which will have like a little area where will still allow water to flow through it you know what I mean freely without actually clogging the whole unit and then you have it backing up and then flowing all over the place because it's not working anymore but um you know um, such a big sponge but still allowing water to freely get through it but allowing the sponge to get fully clogged so eventually so clogged that no water really gets through it anymore that allows for anaerobic bacteria to grow within it that will eat nitrates and then release the gases back into the stream right because it's releasing the gases back into the stream because it's not in substrate so it's not actually like it's you know locked in there you know what I'm saying so it should because it's a sponge should release the gases in theory hopefully and then because the canister filter has that free motion should catch the current and it's going to be pushed back into the main display tank right and then you know doing what it does it's going to allow the gases as it enters the display tank right back out to surface because in your display tank you should have 
all types of fun things going on. You should have a bubbler, you know, you should have all types of things going on. You know, all types of crazy things going on. So as it returns back into your display tank, you know, you want your display tank to be as oxygenated as possible, water moving everywhere as possible and those gases going back into it should release automatically real fast <laughs> right so this is my idea on the best filtration for your um, display tank is definitely a canister filter or swamp filter because a overhang filter just does not provide anaerobic bacteria growth it will not allow it to grow because it's just the water is moving way too much, too much oxygen contact. You will only have aerobic bacteria, which will only work until the nitrate stage, and the beneficial bacteria will not exist to break nitrates down into nitrogen gas, which will release it into the atmosphere if housed correctly. You have to house it correctly. It can be beneficial towards you, it can also be a little bit dangerous. If, like say you have a sand bed three inches deep but you do not have a under gravel filter you know this could be potentially dangerous because it can potentially make pockets and a fish that disturbs the ground it could get into the aquarium and anything in its past could kill the fish but we have an under gravel filter and this one should be, should be okay and in here we have trumpet snails and all types of snails and life and you know it, it's these roots are going in there, you know, it's it's getting the nutrients, so we should be good. But this is what I'm saying. Definitely a canister filter. Big fat sponge all the way on the bottom. Never clean it, never take it out. Let it get clogged. And I bet you that will grow some aerobic anaerobic bacteria. Now the question is, you know, let's just make an example real quick. You have 10 pounds aerobic bacteria but you only have three pounds anaerobic bacteria you know you still have to find a method on trying to house enough of, uh, trying to house enough of it to break all the nitrate down for your system so it works for you really well so you you actually see a difference so instead of your nitrates going like this so let's say you have a fish tank with no plants your nitrates go like this you gotta do a water change like say you have a fish tank with plants, you, your nitrates go like this. Now you gotta do a water change. So you know it took a week. And instead of doing it once a week, you do it every two weeks. Like say you have a really well system with anaerobic bacteria as well, eating nitrates, releasing it to uh, the atmosphere through nitrogen gas. So instead of doing water changes, you do water changes once a month over here. All right, because you have something working for you. Like say you have a really, really well system with plants and everything and anaerobic bacteria and everything and you have a really well system because plants do need nitrates but only to a certain extent um, let's say nitrates get really high it's actually bad for plants just like it's bad for fish to a certain extent you definitely want to keep it under 40 so plants do need nitrates though for nutrients so if you can actually find a perfect balance between enough surface area for anaerobic bacteria to grow on and aerobic bacteria to grow on and enough plants and everything for everything to work out perfect like in the wild <laughs> you might even find a perfect balance which will always stay five no matter how much food you put in there how much fish because you have enough housing for anaerobic bacteria and everything so that is my idea on a canister filter or swamp filter have something that allows for very minimum flow rate all the way on the bottom let those sponges get clogged never clean them let that anaerobic bacteria grow and let's see if it makes a difference well, alright YouTube this is like my 20th try I probably sat here five six hours now but hopefully this made a little bit of sense but I wish everybody an awesome night and y'all be good laters